Hello, I am V. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today we're doing a pick a card reading. So I just did um, a reading on who your twin flame, your soulmate is. And that probably went up by now if you voted for it. We're voting for, you know, what pick a card readings people want to see first. I record a lot and it can help deciding which ones to upload. So I'm going to go in my little memory box, my little trinket box to pick for each pile. We have this little ring here. Pile number, okay, we're going to go with style and altruism for pile number one. And I'm going to shuffle as I go so that everything stays active in my mind while I'm speaking. All right, for number two, we have the laughter and magnet. For number two, and pull this over here. Style, altru altruism with the ring. Number two is laughter. And <clears throat> pop, I'll look the other way. Pop number three is number nine. And a little friendship keychain that I used to make in the 90s. Can't believe I still have that. So, all right. Hope you like that. Oh, I will pull all my decks of cards. This is the deck of cards that I'm using today. I like to, you know, make little stacks of things I want to use. I go by themes and stu stuff, somewhat. Um, so let's let's go. With, okay. So thank you for watching. By the way, I hope you I hope you're yeah I hope you're well. Um, I'm gonna have a link to all my pig cards in my playlist if you want to check them out. So check you know please uh, choose with the intuition. What what do you feel interested in uh, learning like knowing like do you think that number one has your message? First of all, I would inspire you to watch the whole video, but or at least the beginning parts of each of the piles. Um, but I will give sneak peeks or um, little cheats. You know, when we get to the second pile, I will let you know what happens in the previous pile, etc. Um, and yeah, go with your intuition, please do. If you, you you don't have time to watch the full video, okay? So pile, I have this music on. Look, I have my little earbuds in here. I'm, I'm tuned in. So I'm going to try my best to get your message, and I'm going to invite you to please comment if, whenever you can on my videos so that I can keep you in mind when I shuffle cards. I always try to think of people in my comments, people clicking on watching my videos, whoever does the thumbing, the thumb downs, whatever. I try to keep those people in mind. So whoever's you know, interacting is, yeah, I try to narrow it down to those people so I can at least, um, you know, get clear message and if, messages. And if, you don't, if you're not... If you don't want to respond or anything, I'll try to keep your mind too, okay, friends? Pound number one, no contact with pound number one. What's happening between you both? What's going on? Let's see what we can pick up on. No contact, no contact. So if you have somebody in mind that you, you lost contact with, let's see what comes out. Number one, no contact with the person you're thinking about. No contact. Okay, attachment. Okay, so that can be that can be either or. That can be like you know you maybe you were attached at first. That could be your current energy, or what you were previously were. You maybe you were attached. Maybe you're no longer connected. You're no longer. Um, maybe you're for whatever reason. It could be distance, or you guys just grew apart. Attachment. Maybe this person's attached to somebody else. Maybe they are married or or dating somebody else, you know, this can be general reading. So this can be somebody's, um, it can be, uh, you know, different messages for different people. See, you know, take it for how it resonates. Attachment. So, hmm, maybe this person is just with somebody else. We'll see. We'll keep going. Sync with the moon. So attachment and in sync. So sync with the moon. Hold on, let me keep going. Movement. So sync this. Okay, sync with the moon movement. All right, this could be, this may be that they moved out of your life. Maybe they're in sync with somebody else, you know? He's holding on to his heart. I mean, she's holding on to her heart, her moon heart. So maybe this is what happened is that maybe they're synced up with somebody else. They're synced up with who they're supposed, they, they, they feel that they're supposed to be with. 
May, or maybe you synced up with someone who you feel is your person. And maybe you're thinking about the other person that we're doing this reading on, right? Movements. Maybe you moved out of their lives or they moved out of your life. life. So let's see. Let's, what else, how else can we add to this? So what's, what's going on in this person's life? What's going on in this person's life that you're not um, in contact with? What's going on? What's going on in this person's life that you're no longer, you know, communicating with? Oh, toxic. Oh, maybe they are in a toxic relationship or maybe your relationship with this person was to toxic. Maybe you guys had a little bit of, um, you know, maybe there was a little bit of turmoil between you guys. Maybe a little bit of a, um, a little bit of stress or chaos with you guys. And maybe this guy, maybe you guys had a part because you guys were toxic towards each other. Maybe a lot of words were being exchanged. Or maybe this person's in a toxic relationship. You guys parted, but you're still thinking about each other, perhaps. Or maybe somebody's doing all the thinking. And, um... Maybe they want out. Maybe they're thinking about you too. What's going on in their life? Why Why there was no... No, I don't want to know why there was no contact. Because you know why. But like, what's happening in their life right now? Now that there's no contact, we're inquiring about your other person. She who is wild, untamed, wild, mysterious. Wild, wild. Wild, wild, wild. Let's keep going. This will make sense. Let's, let's just keep going. So what's going on in this connection? What's going on? What happened? So why, why is, okay, what is this person doing? This person, okay, things, okay, you know what? Toxic and wild is coming out to me. Toxic and wild. So maybe they're in this, in a chaotic relationship right now. Maybe they're in a relationship they don't want to be in. Battle, victory, bitterness. See, that's what I'm getting. They're probably in an environment, a lot of movement, maybe a lot of bickering, going back and forth. Um, sync, maybe they're just, they're in this relationship, they can't get out of it. Maybe they're thinking about you, maybe they're just thinking about, the, you know, what things used to be like in the past. Um, you know, like, uh, oh my gosh, like I, I remember when... I was with this person and blah, blah, blah. Um, please help us clarify. What, what's going on? Why, why? Okay. So what's going on in this person's life that you're thinking about? Why? What's going on? No contact, no contact. What's, whoever you're thinking about, part number one, what's going on in their life? What's going on in their life right now? Part number one, what's going on in that person's life that you're thinking about? What's going on in that person's life? Okay, we have... The Justice card and the Ten of Swords. Yes, see, there's some kind of uh, toxic, chaotic environment. See, the Ten of Swords and the Justice. So justice will be served. They're gonna get. They're gonna get. They're gonna be able to uh, make things right in this relationship. You know, if they're going through something, a little bit like maybe they're going through um, a controlling. Um, maybe they're in a controlling situation. Maybe they're just arguing a lot with their partner. They're, I don't know if they're gonna, you know, get out of it and come towards you, but they're definitely, look, they're attached. They have like, maybe they're, they're married. Maybe this person got married and now uh, it's not working out, perhaps. Maybe, yeah, look, a ring, maybe infinite thing. Maybe they, you know, maybe they uh, made a commitment to this person. So this sink, this sink is standing out to me. I gotta clarify that one actually. So what's going on? I feel like what's happening right now is that they're, they're unhappy. They're probably re maybe feeling regret getting into this relationship, you know? Um, no contact. They're in their own little world. They're probably not thinking about you because, they're you know, they're going through their own thing right now. They're probably not even thinking about anybody else. They probably just want to get through their stuff and get out. This sync up with the moon. I'm going to figure what that is. That's, we're going to figure that out, okay? You just bear with me, please. Sync with the moon. So justice card. Justice will be served. If they play their cards right, they can get out of this. Look, a lot of swords. Look, one sword, ten swords. Another sword here with the justice card. This little justice. Um, all right. So what's 
no contact with this person. What's going on with this person? What's going on with this person that you're thinking about, pot number one? How can we wrap up this reading? How can we add some more oomph to this reading? How can we add up some oomph to this reading? How can we uh, add add the missing piece to this reading? Missing piece to this reading. What's the missing piece? Heart chakra. Awaken your heart center and let's love in. Ooh, heart chakra. And take a chance. You can't grow in your comfort zone. Stepping into the unknown is trusting the, the trusting the universe. Go for it. Wow, sinking with the moon, trusting, stepping into the known, trusting the universe. So they're in, okay, so they need to, this to me is saying they're in sync, like they're, they're in something, right? They're in a cycle, they're in something, you know, the cycle, they're either in a marriage that they, they're trying to get out of, they're in sync with it, you know, like they're committed, they're, yeah, they're like in something, that they're, they're feeling stuck or something like that and they have to get out of their comfort zone they have to find a way to escape you know it's very toxic for them they're attached ten of swords regrets look she who regrets yeah that's what I was just thinking and altruism came out so this you know for me I'm thinking this is like uh, them you know people pleasing you know, that they're, they're comfortable and they're, they're just trying to please everybody, make everybody happy. But they're not really, really happy, if you know what I'm saying. They're just doing it to uh, maybe, you know, because maybe it's so toxic they don't want to cause any more fights or they don't want to uh, cause, they, they probably don't want to disrupt the family, the style, the dynamic. They probably have a certain style like, okay, I pick up the kids on this day. Or, you know, maybe they're trying to avoid each other, but they still live with each other. Maybe they have, like, a certain uh, method, you know, like, okay, let's just not talk to each other, but let's just be there for the kids, you know, stuff like that, if they have kids. If not, maybe they're just living with each other, trying to, maybe they're trying to be friends, but they're still not happy, and maybe maybe they're all, always arguing, fighting. Because, look, battle. Look at that. Battle and toxic. I feel like that goes with each other. What do you think? And they probably have the style. This can be like, this is just how they function. Maybe this is just their, the dynamic of the relationship. This is just how it turned out. And they don't know how to get away from that, you know? It's just like a repeating cycle. Yes, look. It's repeat. Repeating. The cycle's repeating with this, these people. They can't get out of it. The phases. Moon phases. Repeating, repeating. Ah. Okay. See? History. Thank you. History. This is a repeated cycle. Just as the Blue Mountains offer stability to the land, the lessons of my past guide my current decisions. Like I said, cycles. This is like a cycle. They go through it. They're, so they're probably, this is probably just one of their cycles. They're probably going to get over it and then uh, be in love again. You know what I'm saying? So this is probably something that they're so used to doing. But justice will be served, though. I think, look, the the the, the the serpent's uh, tail has been severed. So I feel like something is going to happen where it's like breaking the camel's back. Maybe this person's going to be like, I'm tired of this crap. I'm out of here. I'm tired of people pleasing, altruism. I'm tired of being, I'm trying to putting you first. I got to put myself first, you know? Untamed. This person wants to go crazy. He wants to, he wants to be free. This person wants out of their relationship. So if you guys, you are thinking about somebody and you're in, no, not con in contact with this person, this person doesn't want to be attached. This person, look, ten of swords. Ten of, look, the sword going through the, the tail, the sword here. This person wants to fight their way out. I think they're getting tired, t uh, what's it called, restless. No, not restless. I, get, I think they're getting exhausted. Well, it could be restless in a way where they're just, the tide is just staying put. They want to move, make action. Did we get the movement card here? No. Okay, we have transition. Yes, they want a change. They want to look community. They want to, maybe they want to be with their friends again. Maybe they're not able to be with their friends or connect with people that they used to be with all the time. Maybe they're feeling, you know, confined or stuck or maybe they haven't been able to connect with their people. Maybe they miss their friends. Maybe they're not able to, maybe their friend, their, the person that they're with is jealous. Maybe, okay, so think of a question, my friendly number one people. Think of a question, please, and I'll try my best to answer. I'll keep on thinking while they shuffle. 
Whatever your question is, I'm going to try my best to answer it. Answering number one's question. Who's thinking about it right now? What's, your, what's the answer to your question? What's the answer to your question? What's the answer to your question? Okay, the answer to your question is no need to worry. So whatever, you're, whatever you were concerned about, no need to worry about it. In other words, the universe, I think it's, it's going to say the universe is going to work. Look, the universe is here. I mean, the moon. I think it's, it's basically saying that things are going to work out. Just leave it up in the universe's hands. Heart chakra, awaken your heart chakra to, to let love in. Maybe this person is so closed off and it's going to be hard for this person to love. That's why he needs to get outside of the comfort zone. Or he or she, get out of the comfort zone and find love again. That's what I have for you, pile number one. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you like this. Hope you like these readings. Um, this person is really, you know, beside themselves. They're like, man, how did I get myself into this? Or maybe this is just a cycle that they're, you know, they're constantly uh, repeating. And I think they're just, they finally want a change, you know, the justice. They want what's right. So that's what I have. And now we're going to go on to pile number two. What's up, pile number two? What's up with you? Hope you're having a great day, night, evening, whatever time of day it is for you. And let's see what messages we can get, okay? So let me put my cards back. So pile number two, you have, oh, I didn't even give, oh, yes, I did give you guys, I did assign trinkets for each pile, didn't we? Pile number two, we have the magnet with the laughter. So the magnet with the laughter. I'm going to start with my tarot first. I should have done that with the first pile. So number two, number one was about um, the, the contact. There was no contact with the person. I think they're, you know, either in another relationship and they're feeling uh, stuck or it's just like a, a toxic cycle that they're in and finally breaking out of it, slowly but surely, coming out of that comfort zone. So now, or discomfort zone. So now we're on to pile number two. The magnets and laughter. Let's see what this is all about, shall we? So I'm gonna try, try, try my best to think of people who are watching my videos, commenting, thumbsing up, thumbsing down, whatever, whatever interaction we get on this channel for this vid particular video. I'm gonna try to think of you, and this is a timeless reading. What's going on? Okay. Oh, two cards wanna come out. We have the fool and this, oh, the sun. The sun in reverse, oh boy. The sun in reverse and the fool card. Okay. So the person you are thinking about has either changed their life path, they, make, they made a decision perhaps which they thought was going to be a good one, you know, to be honest. They thought it was the, the best decision at the time. And now it's, it's, it's like, man, this is not where I pictured my life would be. Let me clarify. You know what? Let me clarify. Hold on. Let me clarify this sun card, to be honest. Let me clarify this sun card. Why is the sun card here? Maybe it's not even supposed to be reversed. Why is the sun card here? Please help me clarify the sun. Please help me clarify the sun. Exposed and thankful. Okay, so, oh, thankful. Oh, okay, one second, one more. Break the surface. Okay, no, this is, this is right side up. So, expose, be thankful. The truth coming out. Grateful, gratitude, and the surface has been broken. The truth, the truth, the truth, and yeah, something has been exposed. And now we can actually move on and find happiness. And everything's, a lo yeah, everything's looking up now. The sun, things are, yes, okay, okay. The fool, and think we're, we're grateful. So um, grateful and humble, humble here. So, okay. So pile number two, okay, sorry. I had to make sure that this was in reverse. Pile number two, this person made, this person is starting a new life or something like that and they chose a new path for themselves and they're really happy to be in that path. 
So I don't know if you guys broke up or you guys, I don't know if you're inquiring about a loved one or um, an ex or someone who you're interested in that you haven't really seen in a long time. But they chose a new path. They're on this, this beautiful new journey and they're having fun. They're happy. This success, this is success in their lives and their hearts. How else can we add? Number two, there's no contact. What's happening to the person or what's happening in the person's life that you're thinking about? Guarded and, ob, ob, oh, guarded observation. Okay. Guarded, look, laughter. Oh, look, I should have known. The sun, laughter. Yes. Magnets. So they were drawn to something. They, they were like, my, my path wants to take me here and I want to go. And now I feel like I found, I found where I belong. So they probably had to move, either move or spiritual. Maybe there's a spiritual change or physically change. Maybe they had to move somewhere else, move away. Or maybe they had to just stop contacting people altogether, you know, because maybe it's not aligning with their, the path that they're on. Um, guarded observation. So, oh, so maybe this person is observing. Maybe this person is watching your social media, but they don't want you to know about it. Or maybe you're watching their social media and you don't want them to know about it. You're just wondering if they're okay. Guarded and guarding. You're guarding yourself. Maybe you're guarding yourself. Maybe because you, you know, you miss this person. Uh, or maybe they're missing you and they don't want to let you know. Or guarded. It could also be that this person has been through something in the past and they, they have a, a big fat wall over their heart, you know. So they just, maybe they're not a big talker either. Um... Okay, then maybe they're not really vocal. Hmm, laughter. That's funny. Haha, <laughs> get it? Laughter. Adaptation. So they had to look, they had to part ways, and they had to leave something behind that was not serving them. So maybe this person is um, very, uh, maybe somebody's, okay, maybe that person is watching over you. See how they, they have the elk here watching over this, per this little lady walking this way? So if you're not in contact, this is what's happening. They're very happy. Yes, they're very happy. They are having a good time. They're doing their thing. Uh, they're adapting to their new situation, to the new love life, to the new whatever job, however you want to look at this. We have solitude. They love, so yeah, they're having fun doing their own thing. They're, they're like, not. there's no complaints here. They're just they're happy being in their own skin. They're being they're happy on this new path. They're happy that they were able to get out of something, <coughs> something challenging perhaps. Um, something was pulling them. This magnetic force. Something was pulling them in another direction. And maybe they're reflecting now in solitude. Maybe they're oh maybe they're just quarantining themselves. Um, but a lot of obs observation, a lot of thinking here. What other? What's going on with this person that you're not in contact with? What's going on with this person that you're not in contact with? What's going on with this person that you're not in contact with? What's going on with this person you're not in contact with? Pound number two. Oh, let me know how your energy is feeling, buddies. Let me know. Let me know how you're what you're up to. So I support my soul. See this person. I think this has to do with us a, a spiritual quest. Like they they totally. They were being pulled in another direction, and they had to get out to find themselves, you know? So maybe that's why you guys are not in contact. Maybe this person, you know, maybe they're still trying to find themselves, or they're trying to grow another skin, another layer of skin for themselves. So they look, they're a lot of thinking. They don't want to be distracted. They don't want to be um, influenced, you know? They don't want outside opinions to come in. They're just doing their own thing right now, observing from the window. Life, yes, life is a blank slate. Yeah, they're creating a new life, like the fool. Now we're going back to the fool. All right, you already know what this is all about. This is someone who uh, decided on a new path. They, maybe they had to cut something out. Maybe things that were not serving them, people were not serving them, situations or feelings that were not, um, you know, keeping them on track. Like maybe they were feeling very conflicted with all these feelings pouring in, and they had to like kind of make a clean sweep. Maybe they want they wanted to, you know. They want to find happiness, like clear mind or something like that. See, look, meditation, clear mind. I think this person just wants quiet. This person just wants 
You see how she's just, she's very quiet, very quiet, very quiet, very quiet, very quiet. <laughs> this person just wants to look and observe things. This person is, you know, maybe this person just wants to hear from you, but doesn't want to really um, socialize. You know, maybe this person doesn't really want to conversate. There's a lot of work that this person is doing and thinking about. And I would just say, you know, just know that they are happy. They probably don't want to contact anybody. It's not just you. So just be happy that they are well, alive, breathing, and continuously continuing to go on their path and discover of discovery, self-discovery. Look, support. She, they're supporting their own soul. They're doing what they what they're supposed to be doing right now. Reflecting. I sustain myself with physical and spiritual food, just as Lake Taupo is fed by multiple rivers. This person is just thinking about themselves right now. This is what they need them to heal. Maybe they had a crazy busy life or just they don't know who the heck they are and they, now they have to set back, look at that, recharge, retreat. Oh my gosh. Recharge. Recharge now for, I'm sorry, recharge. Retreats now for important self-care. Yes, see? Self-care. Deception. Someone is not being honest or withhold, is withholding information. So maybe, um, <clears throat> maybe, you, okay. Maybe... You're dealing with so many, okay, so I'm going to say maybe this person has some secrets that they don't want you to know about, or maybe you have secrets that you don't want them to know about. This can work both ways, you know? Maybe you guys are keeping uh, something from each other. Maybe you're, um, maybe this person's missing you, but they're not telling you. Wow, a lot of solitude here. Maybe you're missing them and you're not telling them. A gift here, a gift. <sighs> maybe they're, maybe somebody's not healthy in this picture because the sun did come out. Um, they reversed that first, right? Maybe somebody is not healthy and they're not, and they're not being honest. Maybe something's going on behind the scenes and you're not totally being transparent. Like I said, nobody's really talking. There's no no open mouths. There's no people coming together to communicate. You know. Um, the wish, there's an email here or a, a letter being written. So maybe this person wishes to contact you, wishes to hear from you, wishes to know how you're doing, wishes to tell you something. Please help me find a good, clear, concise answer. So I guess these three cards want to come out. Union, this person wants to communicate. Commune, union, Succe success, this person wants to succeed and get through to you. Maybe they're looking at you a lot. Maybe they're fine looking at your pictures, your social media, messenger. Look, look, two, two, two letters being written. They probably, yes, they probably miss you. They probably want to tell you something. They just don't know how. There's probably some information that they have here. Laughter, they probably love your voice, or they're probably just very happy right now with whatever situation they're in. Um, let me pull some other cards. Hold on. Recharge, retreat. So this, uh, they're taking taking care of their body right now. Their 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 self. They're taking care of their self. So what's happening with them? They're they're focusing on their own, you know, spiritual self care or physical self care. Fa look for fairies. <laughs> this can be look for the um look for the good things in the relationship that you guys shared. You know, reminisce on the, on how things used to be and just remember them that way. You know, just remember everything that you guys shared and that can help lift your spirits. Look for the fairies, look for the good times, the good moments. This person is doing what they need to do for themselves and all you can do is support them. Or you can, so I wonder what this deception card is here for though. I wonder why. He, she who regrets. Okay, so there's some kind of regrets here. Bitterness. Okay, maybe that's what this deception card is here for. Maybe somebody's feeling bitter about how things parted or how you guys uh, disconnected. Maybe there's some kind of like, you know, sour feeling that was left behind, like the residue. And they don't want to tell you because they don't want to push you away or they just don't want to argue with you. They just miss you, you know? All right. Life is a blank slate. Yeah, they're starting. I can change the situation at any time for a result that works better for me. This person totally did a 180. Temptation, okay, temptation. Maybe they're tempted to talk to you, tempted to come into your life again, tempted to conversate. 
but maybe, or maybe you are. Look, see her. Yeah, again, observation, observation. This elk is looking towards her through the fog. This, this little uh, wolf is looking out the window. So maybe this person's looking at your social media, my friend. Maybe they're tempted to talk to you. They're tempted, tempted to con con you know, contact you. Maybe you're tempted to contact them. Maybe you're missing them so much that you just want to be like, ah, right, whatever, let me just say how you're doing. How are you? What you doing? What? Um, what's going on? Just talk to me. Do, say something. Magnetic. Maybe you guys will always have a connection. Or maybe you like polar opposites. You know? Or maybe this person is just pulled in another direction for whatever reason. Maybe the spirit really needs to get out of contact with you for right now to find out what the heck is happening with them, you know? Battle, victory, bitterness. So maybe, yeah, that's maybe why the deception card is here. They're not being truthfully honest, like, or you're not being honest with them. Maybe you're feeling hurt by them leaving, or you leaving, or whatever. Maybe they're feeling hurt by you leaving. But just know that they're happy. Look, laughter, success, union. Maybe they found another family, another partner, or somebody else that can fulfill their heart. Or maybe they're just... Um, surround themselves around positive people on their on their journey so reconsider that if you're asking a question listen to your intuition and reconsider so if you're thinking about contacting them whatever the case is whatever you were thinking in the back of your mind okay what do I do should I go forward with this person should I reach out whatever should I be mad at this person uh, I don't know what you're thinking but it says reconsider so maybe right now is not a good time to stay in contact maybe right, right now is where you need to be in this relationship a little bit, uh, you know, in, yeah, distance. Because maybe there's something that this person has to figure out for themselves, you know. Wish, maybe they're trying to, f I don't know, like m fulfilling a wish or maybe there's some, look, a gift. I mean, there's something here that they have to find out. Listen to your intuition. What does your heart say? What does your intuition say? You let me know in the comments below. Please do. I would love to hear from you. Uh, if this does not resonate, then it doesn't. It's not meant for you then. It's, you know. It's meant for the next person or whoever really needs to hear this. So don't feel discouraged. And I would invite you to please, please, please uh, respond. Um, not respond, but um, please do uh, comment on my videos so that I can keep you in mind for future readings. I'm saying that like a broken record because it, it is important. Um, I've noticed that when I watch people's videos, pick a cards, and I'm always constantly, I'm constantly respond, replying to this stuff, I notice there's a, a pattern. It's like... They're, I don't know, like they pick up on my energy and they stay in their subconscious and then when they shuffle their cards, part of that message comes out for me and everybody else's message too, you know? So it's really interesting how the energies work like that. So I thank you for your time and now we're on to part number three. And part number three, uh, we had, for number two, we had like, um, you know, someone needing to find their own journey and that person that you're not in contact with, they needed to, you know, separate for a reason or you needed to separate. Maybe it was your... You needing to part ways for your journey. And pile number one was, um, oh my gosh, I don't remember, to be honest. They're, um, oh, oh, needing to get out of a relationship, in toxic relationship. The tower, wow, okay. I need more pieces to my puzzle, so just bear with me. All right, friends, what I'm getting is they, the person that you're um, thinking about right now, I think the higher friends, I think they, um, Either they, they recently got married or they, they recently discovered a new, like their spirituality. You know what I'm saying? Um, they either got into something very religious or they just figured out what religion they want to follow or what relig religion they don't want to follow or look at that faith came out look at that oh my gosh thank you okay what's happening with this person again i think this is part number two's continuation and press play on my music 
Um, I think this is, okay, what's happening? Look, nine. Wow, nine. Okay, so for nine, um, I think I remember someone saying that the Buddhists think that number nine means death to them. So I think what's happening is, um, hi, kitty. I'm almost done. I think what's happening is th this, um, the person that you're not in contact with, contact with, I think they, they uh, changed, like they, they found their calling or something like that. We have the Hierophant. We have the Tower. Like a big fat change is happening with them. Like they went through something transformational here. Maybe they stripped away their uh, religion or something like that. The higher front, the tower. Uh, then we have, oh, faith. Look at that, faith. Um, I think they're, I think they're no longer in a faith. I think they're no longer practicing a certain, you know, religion, man-made religion or, or just religion in general. Uh, a practice, they're not, they're not, fought. look, the, the higher front is like, you know, conforming, and, and basically, um, like, you know, let's say you're a Catholic. This is like someone going to church every single Sunday, stuff like that. I don't think they're doing that anymore. So what's happening with them is that they're, they're, they had either a spiritual awakening. You have the faith card with the, with the religious card here. Um, the tower, I think the tower led them to either, maybe, okay, so this is another message. Maybe they weren't spiritual or they weren't religious and now maybe they are so either way they, they just went through something they, they uh, found another path for themselves and I think it resorted to them finding love look I can love so many this is the creator of this deck by the way the heart of my song I observe and reflect quick thinking so I think they're thinking outside the box now. They're not conforming. So this can be that they, they're, they're coming out of their faith or they're coming out of something that they're so used to doing or uh, practicing for so long. Um, I think this friendship thing is like them weaving. It's like they're weaving, they're maneuvering their way towards another path. Like they're finding their way, this, this friendship bracelet. See how everything just combined, like look at that, intertwines. I think they're, it's like they, making connections and look 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 at that sacred sexuality look alchemy yes that's what i was just thinking like weaving this connection has the potential for sacred tantric alchemy like sacred sexuality it's like it's like all spiritual like making like becoming one so they're like merging their either their faith or religion or their um i don't know like they found a new uh a new path a new spiritual path and they're trying to figure it out and and learn as much as they can about that so um mutual symbiotic this is a beneficial and balanced connection connection look at that connection these two cards need connection right both have both partners have the same feelings ideals values and shared life goals so maybe this person either this can be this person found themselves they know who they are now they're, everything's in alignment now. Or maybe they found us another, you know, their partner, their soulmate, the twin flame, and they're weaving, they're making one with this person. Maybe that's, they're with somebody who they feel that they can be with, you know, sacredly, like um, spiritually. The courage, it probably took a lot of courage for them to find this new path or to get out of this new path or whatever they were conformed to. It's probably took a lot of strength a lot of power, a lot of like mind power, like stripping, like being, you know, thinking independently with your own own brain. Intuition. I love so many. So maybe this person's in love. Observe and reflect. Maybe this person's in love. Now this person knows who they are. I think this person is lo in love with this, themselves. And now they're able to really feel that with other people. I don't know. They couldn't probably couldn't feel it before. Maybe something was holding them back. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm getting? Wow, this is what I'm getting. Intuition, okay. Intuition, I think this is a spiritual thing. Like I said, connecting with your higher self, connecting with the divine, connecting to your angels, whoever, uh, but you're on an intu intuitive level, level. And this person's feeling very strong. Look, authority and courage. This person is very, ooh, this person's standing on their own two feet. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what I'm feeling? 
look, inner vision came out next. Intuition, inner vision. All right, this is what I'm getting. Okay, get ready for this. I don't know why I got this, but now I'm noticing another synchronicity. But let me tell you first. I feel that this is a like a same-sex marriage or a same-sex, um, it's like a LGBT reading right now, like same, same, same uh, gender relationship, you know? Two females, two males. I think, I think that's what we're getting right now. I could, be, I could be wrong. Well, no, I don't feel in my heart that I'm wrong. But if it's wrong for you, it's because it's not your message. I think, oh my gosh, this is, oh, I, my heart, my heart, my heart. Whew, okay, I think what's happening here, and I'm going to pull more cards too. I think what's happening here is that maybe you grew up a certain way. You grew up thinking, oh, if I love the same gender, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm bad, or I'm not going to heaven, or whatever. Whatever religion you believe in, whatever faith, whatever, you know, uh, philosophy, mythology, whatever, <laughs> whatever value that was passed on to you or instilled in you as a young child, I think you're breaking out of that or you have broken out of that or you will, you will break out of that. You're going to have this crazy realization that you can love anybody you freaking want to. It doesn't matter the color of their skin, their race, ethnicity. Yeah, same thing, I guess. Um, no matter what background they come from, what kind, whatever shoes they walk in, whatever color eyes they have, whatever gender they have, whatever. You're like, I, I can love whoever the F I want. Wow. You fell in love with someone who has the same values, same feelings, same ideals and goals as you. And you guys are weaving together something wicked, alchemy. Yes, something beautiful. You're standing on your own two feet. You maybe you you're like you maybe you still have your faith, but maybe you you just practice the the parts that really resonate with you. Like maybe, for instance, let's say, oh, I believe in the Ten Commandments, but I don't believe in this and this and this and this that this religion says. You know, like I can I can relate to that. You know, there are some things from each religion that I do. Uh, you know, hold, I feel like hold a lot of. Um, I don't know, morals and, and yeah, they hold strong, they're very strong, you know, like I, I do feel that those things are right, but I wouldn't do 10 other things that the, that specific religion does, or, you know, like I can pick apart whatever feels right to me, and you, maybe deep down inside, we all, you do have your faith, it's just that it's only parts of, of that certain religion or practice or whatever that you really resonate with, and that's fine, we don't have to be in a cookie cutter religion or cookie cutter practice or or whatever yeah so in a vision you're, you're like you've come into this realization that you know what the heck you want and what your what your path is is it's the right path for you it might not be somebody else's ideal path but that's them that's their bed the bed they have to lay in right this is for you what's right for you what you feel comfortable with oh my gosh okay so now the synchronicities are coming in look rainbows rainbows Rainbow flag, you know, that's what I'm getting. Rainbow flag, like, I don't know, this could be part of a rainbow flag. Um, expression, you're able to express yourself. What, are they, what, what were they were saying, come out, like, in the 90s? They would say, oh, I'm coming out of the closet, whatever. Is that what they say? Expressing, look, you're expressing yourself. You're being, you're, you're being your true self, finally. You're able to sing and beat your own drum and, and do whatever the hell you want, do whatever the heck you want to do. You're cleaning up your life. You're like, I'm, you know, see ya. You don't want to be with me? See ya. Two angel wings. Love it. You're free. Beauty ritual. Look, more rainbow colors. So if this is not a, uh, this is not what I just said, then it's not. But there is some kind of like coming out of something that you, was, you felt confined to, like the Hierophant, you know? Uh, maybe you just finding a new religion. So don't mind me with the rainbow colors, okay? Don't mind me if that is not your story. Well, actually, this is what I'm saying. I'm saying that um, I do feel like this is like a LGBT reading right now. And I do have a lot of LGBT family, friend, family members, real life family and friends. So 
I wonder if they're watching my video right now. I wonder. Um, probably not. Look at that. You're taking care of yourself. Beauty ritual. You're doing your own thing. Cleaning yourself. Yep. You're cleaning your, 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 your whoever is not meant to be in your life. You're saying, see ya. You're listening to your own gut. Look at that. She who listens. You're understanding. You're compassionate about your own wants and needs right now. You can love many. That's right. Wow. I actually wrote this on this card because I didn't want this card to go to waste. It was. This is a creator's face. What's her name? I forgot her name. Hannah? Justine. So she created this deck and I want, I didn't want the picture, you know, I didn't want to throw it out. So I, I wrote on it and this is what I got, the message that I got. I can love many, whatever religion, whatever color, skin, whatever, uh, whatever backpack they're wearing, <laughs> fanny pack, whatever. She who persists. Wow. You're persistent. You're like, I'm not giving up. I know who I'm meant to be. Wow, this is beautiful. She who doubts. Fear, weariness, trust. Maybe you feared in the past. Maybe you're coming out of that. You're finding your courage. What am I saying? You feared it in the past, but you're getting your courage. So maybe you're um, slowly on the, maybe you're like on, you're on the way out of closet or whatever hiding that you were in. The tower, you're changing. You already know what you want to do in life. You have to go for your own, your own. You got to do your own thing. You got to fight for what's right. You know, be your true self. Express, express yourself. You've got to make it. Express yourself. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so um, for those of you who are not feeling like they can't express themselves because they're not safe, maybe that's why you're fearing. I would say, you know, just um, maybe try to get somebody who can help you tell the truth to people or just wait until you feel like it's safe, you know? Um, like, you, f you do what's right. Listen to your intuition. What's that card? Intuition. Listen to what your inner vision. You know what's right for yourself. You know what, what, what you need to do, you know? If you feel like nobody's going to, um, yeah, if you feel like nobody's going to understand you, if, you have, if you're younger and you're trying to come clean with who you really are, um, and you don't feel like you can do so because you're maybe, you know, living with your parents or something like that. Or maybe you just have a lot of friends who are judgmental or family members that are judgmental. Maybe you're older and you just like, you, you didn't grow up this way. You're like, what? What is this? Why am I feeling this way? Whatever. This is who you're meant to be. This is who you're meant to be. Find a balance of how you can tell people. Maybe you can have a friend help you with, you know, help you talk. Maybe you can write it in a letter. Find the courage. Find the strength. You can do it. Have faith that everything will turn out right. Okay, take care of yourself, with your needs, what is it that you're needing. We have, look, get more information. Okay, get more information. So ask a question right now. Get more information means you maybe need to um, need, figure out what you need to do so that you can uh, be honest with people. Like, what do you need to do? Do you need to sit them down? Okay, reconsider. Reconsider telling them at this time? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what this is for you. This can be you're asking another question. Choose another direction. Listen to your intuition again. So um, if you're having a hard time t telling somebody something, I would suggest you um, do it in a safe way when the time is right. You know, if you feel like you're going to be judged or verbally attacked or physically attacked, j just be very careful. Um, you know, always maybe be around a lot of people or write it in a letter. Um, <laughs> look, information, maybe write it in a letter Maybe send them a letter instead or email or not. Maybe, you know, I wouldn't say email or text because people don't get the tone when they watch it, when they're, you know, reading texts and stuff. Um, see if you can find a support group for, you know, a forum, uh, a U YouTube channels. That, you know, there's a lot of people talking about everything, everything under the sun. Maybe you can find a, a support group via YouTube. But do it in a safe way and do what feels right for you. We have number nine here. I don't know what that is for. Nine what? Is that your birthday? I don't know. But you have weaved something. You, you're like finding yourself. And I would say I would commend you on, on your self-discovery. Like this is beautiful because this is who you're meant to be. Be yourself, right? Be happy. So, um, yeah, find your support group. Find your YouTube people, your, your, your tribe. Uh, pick their brains. See what they had to do to, you know, to come clean or to find their strength. Or maybe you could find your friends and try to, you know, Find, you know, find a nice hug support group that can really have your back. And you have it here, too. Don't, keep, don't, don't forget. Keep that in mind, okay? I, I, I open my arms to everybody. 
I, I just want to help everybody as much as I can. So come, come, go in the comments and chat it up with us. Just put a heart, put a, a, a nice bright colored heart to let me know that this message resonated with you. And I would love to reach out to you and see how you're doing, okay? I give you the strength, love, support, and positive vibes.